Daily prayer for Good Friday. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore, we glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for by virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Some verses from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me and are so far from my salvation, from the words of my distress? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. And by night also, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They put their trust in you and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delights in him. But it is you that took me out of the womb and laid me safe upon my mother's breast. On you was I cast ever since I was born. You are my God, even from my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near at hand, and there is none to help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let's see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. You have to ask, what kind of a God is it that goes and gets himself killed? No wonder St Paul accepted that the cross seemed like foolishness to others. No wonder that from the very first, Christians have been mocked and abused for such a bizarre belief. Surely the whole point of God is that he's eternal. So how strange to offer your whole life to a hanged God. And yet this moment of unspeakable and abandoned death is the most intense moment of divine revelation. The Christian God reveals his power through powerlessness. Because from the cross we see that there can be no greater strength than the strength of selfless love. And this act of utter, unconditional self-giving subverts and overturns all the twisted values of the world. 
as Jesus dies, the powerful are shown to be powerless. The dealers of injustice, the oppressors and the polluters are placed under judgment. The captives are set free. Because as we gaze upon the hanged God, we see a world which is transformed by love. The selfishness of sin is overcome by the selflessness of love. And our response? To try to love as Jesus loved. To offer our lives as a gift to the poor as Jesus offered his life to us who have nothing. If the cross is our only hope, then it will also be our lifestyle. Let us pray. Father, we stand alongside those who today witness death. Death of loved ones, family members, friends. We stand alongside those families unable to be with those whom they love. And especially those coming to the end of their lives. As we pray, Heavenly Father, we ask that you will turn the values of this world upside down and that we will truly walk the way of love in our lives. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross and entered the bleakest of all circumstances. Give courage to those who die at the hands of others. In death you entered into the darkest place of all. Illumine our darkness with your glorious presence. To you, Jesus, your lifeless body hanging on the tree of shame, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen. <laughs>